Hi, today I'm going to cover how to create a Pareto chart. Now, a Pareto chart is a good visual example of the 80-20 principle or the Pareto principle. And this was named after a Italian economist back in the 19th century. His name was Wilfredo Pareto, and he had noticed that 80% of the land was owned by 20% of the people. And this concept can also apply to many things nowadays. Uh, you may hear that 20% uh, of the people own or produce 80% of the wealth, or etc. And usually, this, this principle kind of applies pretty much around the ballpark of 20 to 80, 30 to 70, uh, 40 to 60. But it's all it's very useful concept to kind of understand what items cause most of the effects. So basically, 80% of the effects are are coming from 20% of a cause of something. So we can use it in maybe like our eight or da our our daily life to see where most of our expenses are going to. So here is an example of a chart that indicates where what our expenses are. Maybe these are daily expenses: rent, car payment, groceries, etc. And which items are basically the bulk of all our expenses. And we can see here as we go down the the chart here from left to right with our most expensive or exp most costly expenses we see that 80% of all our major costs are our rent car payment and groceries and so i'll show you how to create this graph in just a minute let's go to a new slide well first let's kind of just copy some things here so it would make it a little bit uh, more easy so we don't have to type everything up I'll just put that over here, and maybe we will put some new amounts. Let's say uh, we'll put an amount there, and let me double click this to kind of auto fit that. Let's say our rent was um, $1,500, our car payment is $500, our grocery was $300. Our gas now. Now let's say that our gas is really expensive nowadays. We bought a big SUV, and now it's four hundred dollars. Our mobile phone payment is a hundred bucks. Our cable is sixty bucks. One thing we need to do before we start any type of charting is to make sure that the amounts are sorted in descending order from the uh, greatest amount to the least amount. So what we can do here is just go click into any cell, right click click sort and sort from largest to smallest and you'll see that Excel uh, this is Excel 2007 it's picking up the sorts and sorting them accordingly what we also need to do here is enter in the amount the total amount so we can just click down in the bottom of the cell I like to use keyboard shortcuts we can just press the alt key and the equal sign and it's gonna pick up and sum the cells right above it so you see that we've got we're summing B2 to the B7. So for the total amount, so what I can do is just click enter, and there we go. That's going to give us our total amount there. What we need to do next is put in a cumulative amount row. So basically, as the cells go down, it's going to add up the amounts um, from cell to cell. So this cell, we're just going to make it equal to 1500 here. But for this cell, the second cell here, we're going to need to add this amount, the car payment, plus the preceding amount. So we'll just go ahead and click B plus C2. And I like to hit press Control Enter to leave uh, my box selected here where I took it. Now we can all, we, what we can do here is now we can grab onto the fill handle here and just copy it down and what it's going to do is it'll copy the formulas down because they're not absolute formulas there's no dollar signs above it so once it gets copied down from one cell to the next cell it'll just pick up the corresponding cells and we see here once it gets down to the bottom it's added up all the amounts here and that should equal to the total there because that is the total the next thing that we want to do is we want to percent it side we want to get a percentage of this to the total so we can just label this column cumulative percent. We'll just give that a shortcut and double click that to autofill. And what we need to do is have this amount divided by the total. So we'll just do equal this 1500 divided by the total. 
with the total, what we want to do is we want to lock down that cell, make it an absolute cell reference. So I'm going to go ahead and press F4 and make sure the dollar signs are in front of the B and the 8, the letter and the number. And when that gets copied down, that cell reference doesn't change, but this cell reference will. So I'll go ahead and press Control Enter and go ahead and actually just, I don't need to like click and hold this to spread it down. I can just double click this fill handle here and now it's brought it all the way down. What I want to do is also make this into a percentage. So I can go, just go ahead and click this percentage side or, or look, there's a shortcut key here. Control Shift Percent. I like shortcuts, so I'll make that Control Shift Percent. And there we go. So now we've got our basis for a chart. What I'm going to do is select my columns here and I'll press the Alt F1 key that automatically creates a de the, whatever default chart you have in your Excel application within this particular tab. So press Alt F1, we see we have a nice little chart here. So some of the things I can get rid of, I don't need this cumulative amount. So what I'm going to do is right click in the, in the chart and go to select data. Once I select data, I'm just going to remove that cumulative amount. That's not, not something I need for the chart. And once I've gotten that out of the way, click OK. But look, the cumulative percentage is nowhere to be seen because it's a percentage and these are, out, these are integers. So these numbers are probably very, very low. So how am I going to select that? Well, there's a couple ways, but there's an easy way here when we click into the, into, into the Chart Tools Contextual uh, tab. If we click on either the Layout or Format, we can go here in the current selection and select our cumulative percentage. That's our series. It's one of the series that we have. There's another way you can do it. When you, when you click in the chart, you can use the arrow key. And, and as I click, if I, as I press the up or down arrow, or maybe not a down arrow, we notice that in the current selection, it selects the uh, area. And so you can also notice that when that's being done, uh, the area here we can see the selection. So what we want to do for that when it's selected is we can just hover over it and right click change chart series type. We want to change that to a line and it's nice to have a line with markers so we see which parts are uh, which percentage parts a little bit more more um, I guess visible. Click OK and there we have our cumulative percentage. But we notice here, this cumulative percentage, it's all still down here. That's because what we need to do is put it on its own uh, vertical axis. So this vertical axis is based on the integers. We need another vert vertical axis for the percentages. So I can go ahead and just right click again and go to Format Data Series and select Plot the Series on a Secondary Axis. So it's going to put another axis here. See, now we've got our percentage axis. I really don't like these lines here, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that, just select it. Uh, right click, delete, or you can just press the delete key. I'll just press the delete key to get rid of that. Now we have this nice chart, and it's kind of telling us uh, where about 80% of all our expenses, they're due to rent, car payment, and gas. It just gives you a nice visual cue and now let's say that we want to kind of have a bet and have an additional visual cue that, that just gives us a line where the 80 percent is. Well, what we can do is we can say uh, I can put a column here that says 80 percentage uh, marker and just put 80 percent here and just copy copy that down. What I can do is I can select this column, Control C to copy, and here. Just select anywhere within the chart and control V to paste. And we see it's put it in there. So it's kind of a nice feature that you can easily copy series of data into the chart uh, without going to the chart. And I like to kind of change this instead of having those markers there, make that just a straight line. And here we have our 80% marker. So we knew that we now we know the, the cross section between where our expenses hit the 80% is right here. So here's how to create a Pareto chart. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.